Hi guys, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, this video is just going to show off one of my new kits. Um, I will be selling this as a mo fully built and tested module too for a few dollars more. What this is, is a customizable uh, relay circuit. I've built a few uh, relay driver kits before, uh, active high, so when you put 5 volts on the input, the relay turns on, and when 5 volts is... Uh, Taken off, taken off that line, the relay turns off. However, I've had some customers ask me, can you make one that toggles? Can you make one that is both active low and active high? And so I did. What you can do with this one is, while you can change it on the fly, there's two jumper settings. Lat for latch and low for active low. By default, if you leave those two jumpers off, you can't see the LAT and the LOW uh, uh, footprints, but um, it'll come with two jumpers so you can you can choose by default with no uh, with no jumpers connected if you turn it on and you simulate five volts this is a, a simulation uh, up here I've got a button and uh, when I press that button and I hold it I'm simulating five volts at the signal input and as you can see that LED turns on simulate like telling me that the LED is that the relay is on when I let go now if I turn it off and I put a jumper connector on the low button, meaning that by that when uh, by default, when there's zero volts at the input line, the relay will be on. And when there's five volts at the signal line, the relay will be off. So I'll turn it on, and the relay should turn on right away because I've got no logic there right now. I've got low. So now, when I put five volts on the line, as you can see, the relay is on. When I put five volts on the line. So this is active low. Now last but not least, I'm going to show you the latching option. I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to take a jump my jumper. And I'm going to put latching. I'm going to put it on my LAT uh, connector. So now what happens is, um, every single time a pulse hits the input line, a 5 volt pulse, the relay will toggle logic. It'll start in logic. Uh, it'll start low, meaning the the uh, the relay is off. So every time I feed a pulse to the uh, to my pick, it toggles. So you can have your TTL logic, your your Arduino hooked up to this. One quick pulse, and if you hold the button, it waits for you to let go before it waits for before you uh, before it sees the next operation. So. Pulse, 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 toggle. That's my favorite part of this whole thing. Really, um, because uh, I'm not going to make the latch option uh, an active low. I'm going to. I'm making. I want to make sure that that's just a, a pulse when you when it, it receives a pulse. Uh, really, you only need the one connector because either you're in latching mode or you leave them all open and you're in normal mode, active high mode, or you take the connector and you put it on lo on the low connector and then you turn it on it'll be active low. So that's it. Uh, I hope I hope that's a little bit clear. It requires uh, it requires 7 to 12 volts. The uh, signal pin is TTL compatible. You shouldn't use more than 5 volts on that. Uh, your Arduino will offer 5 volts, your stamp, your pick, your uh, some of your CMOS, your TTL, uh, five volts in the signal input. On the uh, on the uh, the five, there's a a power line V plus and a ground line V plus again seven to twelve volts. The output has your standard relay connections, your common pin, your normally connected pin, and your normally open pin. So uh, hope you like this. I'm 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 really quite happy with this uh, with this kit. Uh, it's the the PCBs are. Uh, very good quality, and uh, it's a really neat looking kit once you put it all together. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it.